I didn't call my parents on the first day of Chinese New Year. They called me a couple times. I didn't answer. I didn't want to. I didn't call back. I didn't tell them, Happy New Year, on the day that Chinese people treasure the most. It was just another day. I wonder where I would be if there were no Martin Luther King. Would I ever have the chance to fulfill my dreams? I would have at least called my parents. I spent the last decade, years of my life, trying to avoid Asian. But why? Maybe because the Chinese Sunday school I went to when I was little decided to make a hate club for me. Or maybe I just one day realized that I couldn't make deep friendships with other Asians. I mean, I'm different from most. My friends growing up in high school were mostly black and middle class. Then they were a diverse mix, but only a few Asians. Maybe that's why I, I dress the way I do. Maybe that's why I love watching basketball. Maybe that's why I use slang, and maybe that's why I, maybe that's why I try to make rap songs. Or maybe that's why I sing in the gospel choir, even though I'm not Christian. What it means to be Chinese in America. What if earlier on, all my friends were Asian? Would I only be friends with Asians now? Would I dress and talk white? Would I just be another Asian? So I guess I'm weak. So what? People used to make fun of the way I dress. I didn't have to change my entire wardrobe. So what? They made Asian jokes. Doesn't mean I had to dislike Asians from then on. So what? They said chess wasn't cool. I didn't have to go my whole life hiding my chess playing. Why couldn't I be strong like other Asians and not conform entirely to my surroundings? I'm not Asian. I've got white and black culture ingrained in me. I do everything the American way. I love my parents. I love my friends, present and past. I love everybody, even Asians. <laughs> I just don't care about the holiday that my parents treasure the most. I guess that's just what America does to you. <laughs>